is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. Any food that grows here is tough and tasteless. The people that grow here are even more so. The only upsides are the pets. While other places have ponies or parrots, we have dragons. Hello everyone, my name is Yatsutsa and today I'm gonna make this dragon makeup alias Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. First I'm starting with a clean face as always, then I'm applying one or more layers of foundation depending on the makeup. Today I'm gonna work with latex, so I'm applying a few layers of foundation because I don't want the latex to touch my skin directly. After that, with a thin painting brush, I am drawing the outline of the eye, where and what shape I want, want it to be. I'm drawing under my eyebrows because then I won't need to mess with it. After that, with an another old painting brush, I'm applying a layer of latex and I'm stick it in it small balls of cotton ball. I stick them in, then I'll make the scales from these, the knobble scales. First I cover the side of them because it's easier shaping them. Then with more latex I start to shape the knobbles scales. I'm using skin colored latex just at the beginning looks it white, later when it dried will be skin colored. I'm doing this until I get the texture that I want. Then I'm applying a creamy body and face paint that I bought in a party shop with a beauty blender. I didn't bought it with a beauty blender, I'm applying with a beauty blender. I started with a beauty blender then I changed to a makeup brush because it's easier work with a brush on the scales and around the eye. But when I started to cover my hairline, my ear and my neck, I returned to the beauty blender. I'm looking like a robber with a ski mask. Yes, I'm wearing a black turtleneck and I painted my hair to black for this makeup. After that I used the black lipstick, then I applied the, then I applied the paint on the top of that because I don't want to put the paint directly on my lips. After that, next to my nose, I started to draw two flesses nostrils. First I used the light blue, then a dark blue top of that, then it wasn't bright enough, so I used a neon blue on top of that. Then I picked a golden brown brown, and I painted with, the, with it the top of the scales to highlight them because after the black painting they vanished and on my reference reference picture there was these little brown golden brown cuts on Toothless' scales. That's why I, ch I choose the golden brown color. I use this color to highlight the mouth giving more texture to the whole, whole thing. After that I started working with the most problematic part of the eye. First I painted the black middle part, the pupil, which looks like a rounded square, no not square, rectangle. Yeah, first I painted the pupil, 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 pupil. after that with a thin brush, again a painting brush, I painted around the pupil, oh, I can't pronounce this word, with a light green. Then I filled the rest of the eye with dark green, mostly the inner corner of the eye. After that I used a golden liquid eyeliner, golden shining on top of it. After that I returned to the golden brown and with that I gave more texture to the, uh, to the eye and I highlighted where, it, where is it exactly. After that I used the glossy black lipstick that made the eye shine like an eye. Yes, and that's the final look. I hope you liked it, if you did please subscribe and this video is my entry video for the next face award. So bye!